Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. A little bit of a different video here. I have a gift from a viewer. So that's super cool. This is from Jeremy Cable. Very uh, consistent commenter. Uh, you probably see his name down there a lot. Thank you. Super appreciate. I appreciate everyone who watches the videos and comments. But yeah, this is my first uh, piece of the subscriber gift kind of thing. So you mentioned, and I was talking in a video about looking for, I need more lantern type tool posts. Cause I still use mostly high speed and I need a couple more for two, for some of my machines. So he said he had some, let's see what he sent. Again, super cool. Bubble wrappy. Yeah. Very well wrapped. You have to super wrap thing these days with the, uh, at least my post office, can be a little rough with things. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. Open this baggie up. See what we got. We got two lanterns. And this one's definitely bigger than the one I was using on the uh, 14 inch reed, which is way too small for it. That's much more size appropriate. Well, that's awesome. With the ever important rings. And those will clean up just fine. And the wedge or rocker, whatever you want to call it. There's the square part to those. And you got another wedge. So those guys are complete. We have a lathe dog, which I have very few lathe dogs. Let's throw that in with the others. And a, a tool holder. Very cool. I've been using these in my uh, quick change stuff, but I. I use a lot of high speed and I still use lantern type tool holders. I think uh, this day and age, or this day, especially people with smaller lathes are always quick to jump to a carbide. Everyone just wants to screw it in to be done with it. You can get, if you have a smaller horse powered machine, it's much easier to get better finishes in, with high speed steel over carbide. Because you're not really taking advantages of the tool pressure and stuff that carbide likes. And, you know, one of the first things when I started machining is I learned how to, you know, grind high-speed steel. Because then I always had the tools or could make the tools I needed. So don't uh, shy away from it, you know. Spend the weekend grinding some tool bits. And if you have a smaller lathe, you'll be surprised. Even bigger lathes. I use them for all my interrupted cuts are always high speed steel. So very cool. So that will complete. See, this little smaller one's what I got on there now. But this one is a size bigger. So yeah, now I just need a couple. I need one for the Hyper Mac, one for the Big LeBlanc. So we'll be good to go. So again, super thank you, Jeremy. This is awesome. This is just unbelievably awesome. Can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.